in America. So. Yeah. Hope your neighbor fucking stops stealing your internet. It's just shitty. Hope your neighbor forgets how to breathe and seems to have forgotten how to pay for his own goddamn <laughs> internet. Uh, but in case you guys are wondering, like, if you guys are ever having stream lag or anything, and you're wondering if it's on our end or your end, there's a decent chance it's on our end because we live in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. <laughs> we have good internet, though. Because we wanted to stream, but occasionally, uh, it dies anyway. Miss Lynette, sorry everything's so clear. Again, grossed in research, things it up this way. It's embarrassing. Please give the secret exchange for this. Should you give us a low tad doll? I think in Ruby Sapphire, she gives you a C dot doll instead for some reason. Kind of creepy. What? Just low tad doll. Hello, low tad. Pokemon that bastard is called Mute City. Can you find him, please? Uh, wrong, wrong game, I think. I too live in Bumblefuck nowhere, and any time it's slightly damp outside, my internet has an aneurysm. Oof. Yeah. We're lucky because we live in the middle of our small town. Hmm. So, you know. the, the If the internet is bad, it's only for a second. Yeah. The house I used to live in, like I grew up in, uh, she gives you the one you catch in your version. Sapphire gets it. Ah, okay. Um, makes sense. Um... The house I used to gr I grew up in when I was a kid, like, if it got, like, even mildly windy, like, the power was just gone. <laughs> like, the power went out, like, fucking all the time when it was, like, shitty weather. It was awful. At my mom's house, the power wouldn't go out very often, but when it did, it would be out for, like, days. Mm-hmm. Because you literally lived down the middle of nowhere. So, I like, lived would, in a hill. It would take forever for people to get to you. <laughs> Gentle breeze. Jet black inside. Literally. Literally, though. Like, winter time comes, you see, like, all the frost on the fucking power line that goes into your house, and you're like, well, this isn't gonna go off soon. <laughs> it's just, like, my soul in here. <laughs> Special inside beam. Yay. Hello, Lombre. No, it's fucking... Oh. I, I fucking... I know, like... I know, like, no one likes it when the power goes out, but, like, I hate it when the power goes out because it's just fucking, like... I've never had a situation where the power went out in, like, the middle of the day. The power always goes out when it's, like, becoming night. And yeah. there's, like, nothing you can do. Because at least the power went out in the middle of the day, I could be like, well, guess I'm gonna go bother my friends for the rest of the day or go for a walk or something. But, like, any time I've had the power go out on me, it's been either, like, the sun is setting or it's already nighttime. Yeah. Read a book? I can't when it's dark, motherfucker. <laughs> Use a candle. You live with a witch. Then I could. Then There's the millions. What if candles. the book catches on fire? Bab, I have so many candles. What if the book catches on fire? You know it wouldn't. Use a tea light candle. Use a pillar candle. Use a scented candle. Use a like a bottled candle. I have so many. I think you just want me to help you burn through your fucking stash of candles. No. No pun intended. Fine, don't read a book, fap. I do, but then what am I gonna do for the rest of the time the power's out? The only get, the only solves 30 seconds of boredom. <laughs> 30 seconds? Come on. <laughs> okay, fine. That only solves 15 seconds of boredom. <laughs> Why does he look so green? Who? Graveler? Yeah. He... Just how... The lighting in Emerald just... The sprite work in Emerald is just very different from, like, Leaf Green and Fire Red. He has algae. How fucking close do you hold your book to your light source? Uh, mm, hmm. You see, I would give a snarky answer to that, but like, I literally have not read an actual book in years because I'm just that person. I'm not proud of it, I just haven't. So you found, uh, this guy makes me error. Defeat him just using air. I think my radio is working because I can hear. Be careful, don't fight with him. I won't, don't worry. We'll be, we will avoid him at all costs. Um... No, it's weird. Emerald Emerald is weird because some of the sprites look really good and then some of them you look at them and you're kind of like... Uh, I'm a dick in the schnoz. Let's see. 
So, um, I have a fun fact about Spinda, actually. Um, that doesn't have to do with the dots. In Pokemon Battle Revolution, when you use the move Toxic, the animation shows two purple orbs swirling around you. Uh, in, swirling around your Pokemon, I should say, in like a, uh... Like, they just swirl around you and they rise up and then they disappear. If Spinda uses the move, they spin around much more erratically. Because Spinda can't stand up straight. For some reason, Carnivine also gets that animation when using Toxic. Which, I don't get. Because Carnivine's just vibing. Lotad looks like he's actually having a stroke. <laughs> it's the eyes. Loaded. Loaded. Call me Sue. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we watched some more My Hero last uh, last night. Or was the night before? Last night. Uh, and we watched the episode where where we met the Seal guy. Uh, and he turned out to be way more badass than I thought he was going to be. That was a fun episode. Hear me, I'm in my bunker. They have found me because I stole some air. I think they are blind. They have spores in their eyes. My final message, sorry. Hello? You go get him, soldier. <laughs> you have Freezer. I am Lord Freezer. Yes. Awesome. I'm a dick you in the schnoz. Ow. That's a new one. Who are you exactly? <laughs> We're just gonna start recreating fucking DBZ abridged episodes. Is that what we're gonna do? Go, Acorn. Looks like Sandshrew's doing the buy, like the peace sign. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like every bisexual I know, not to generalize, does the peace sign and cocks their head and, like, does it awkwardly. And, and the finger guns. I was going to literally say in the finger guns. And I think you're allowed to generalize, generalize a group of people that you are literally a part of. Yeah. I do it at work. It's so bad. What, the finger guns or the peace signs? Uh-huh. <laughs> Who are you making fingers, finger guns at? I'm my boss. I'm like, thank you. I appreciate you. And I love you, random citizen. I don't know why, but when I work, I turn into such a douche canoe. I was like... Like, not a douche canoe. It's like... But, like, instead of being like, eh, thanks, or be like, hi, anything, you find everything you're looking for, instead I'm like, hey there, my lovely citizen. Well, I think it's because you're and trying to- like, you having a good Friday? That's good. Well, I think it's because you're, it's, it's just your brain desperately trying to keep yourself, like, entertained, you know? Yeah. For really easy, you say, my god, strike me down or I stand. Bang. Ha, ah, nice try, jackass. Next time, give it your A game. You need to watch DBZ Abridged. No. Why not? We need to watch Dragon Ball first. You really don't. You do not need to watch Dragon Ball Z to appreciate DBZ abridged. It helps a little bit, I guess, but you really don't need it. I need it. It's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh abridged. It's it's kind of like its own thing. I didn't until episode 42. Which one was that? I assure you, it changed nothing. Oh! <gasps> Acorn! It's turning into oak tree. Bum, bum. Big bird! Big bird, big bird, big bird, big bird, big bird, big bird, big bird! My friend died in an accident. Do you know how to deal with death? Today, kids, we're gonna learn about 9 11. Swallow. Uh. Earth woman, where's the cleansing powder? We don't have that here. We have soap. What the hell is soap? It's that yellow block made of animal fat. That sounds awesome. <laughs> this tastes nothing like what you just said. I wish I could do a Vegeta voice. All right. So we got Acorn, fully evolved. Hell yeah. Acorn. Uh, which also means now. She's pretty. Yeah, Acorn's a good lass. So we need this time to put her away because someone else needs XP now. Carbos. Look at my big bird. Look at my biggest birdus. Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet, motherfucker. Can I lay on you? Yeah, just... What the fuck? Yeah, he's a furry. <laughs> was this Why was dick? he being a Charizard out of all the things? Because he's a furry. My worst message is, I hope someone can translate them. Please don't go to... Oh, wait, there's my message. <laughs> You should catch him. That's a person's Pokemon, dear. 
catch him. Do you think the furry was just, just hanging out and I was... He's not taking good care of it. <laughs> I don't think he's fucking the hair on, but... No, that's not what I was saying. Uh oh. I just, I mean, look at that hair. He doesn't take good care of himself. You can take good care of your pets and not take good care of yourself. I'm living proof of that. I don't take good care of myself, but I try to take good care of the cats, at least. As best yeah, as I can. Yeah, you just spoil them. I, I love them. Catch the furry. Do not catch the furry. I want to lay on you. Then lay on me. But you're, like, sitting weird. Come over here. Hey, baby. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when you smash rocks, you run into Pokemon. Shemesh. I think it's literally always either Geodude or Graveler, depending on where you are in this well, game. Well, I mean, they are the rocks. The rock bros. The, the rock bros. Dwayne the Rock Brothers. Brother. Got some protein. What? There's just a steak on the ground. Delicious. I always thought they were protein shakes. They're like vitamins. They're like they're like mineral supplements. Uh, you attack too. Someone punched you in the head hard enough to split your head in half. That is, well, you say that, but I probably wouldn't live. Um, let's see. Let me just leave him tell her. Yeah, furry crazy freak, just ignore them. They're the only obstacles here. The only obstacles in life are furries. Let it be known. <laughs> Clearly your skull is weak. Yeah, sorry guys. I still have my soft spot. That's so weird to me that that's like a thing. It's so fascinating. When I was younger, I thought for the longest time I was going to be a midwife because I didn't like kids, but the process of birth is fascinating. Fascinating Female in Female bodies are amazing. Yeah, fuck, I can drink to that. Um, sad furry noise. Sad furry noise. Um, I mean, yeah, it's just children are disgusting, Drew, and I fully agree. <laughs> it's gross, and you don't want to be around them. They're sometimes cute, but it's not worth the grossness. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> literally. Like, when my nephew Big... threw up curdled breast milk into my mouth, that was the moment I was like, yeah, no, I couldn't do this. However, they are crunchy and taste good with ketchup. <laughs> Oof. Do not eat the child. Your father is full of proteins. Hello? Could you imagine Bear Grylls, like, in the Mufasa scene of the Lion King? He, like, starts ripping him open. He was like, your father is full of proteins. Whoa. <laughs> I had a fever dream about that once. About the Bear Lion Grylls. King or Bear Grylls? Yeah, Bear Grylls eating Mufasa. Oh. I was very sick. Your... The and Simba was crying. The things you dream about fascinate me, because all my dreams are, like, fairly boring. Like, I don't have, like, I I have, like, weird dreams, but I feel like they're, like, the level of weird where it's something I could have just made up if I was daydreaming, and, like, just, just, fa just you know, spacing out, you know? Yeah. But, like, you you tell me shit that you dream oh, about, and I'm I like, what the fuck? I just can't wait for dad to die. <laughs> that is what he sings about. Oh, she's actually dead. <laughs> no, don't wait. Don't put that energy out in the world if you don't want it, bitch. <laughs> but the fire nonsense man is weak. If you off his ant torches, 80 HP, 35 defense, doesn't have a special attack. Just get him experience. Shy guy, I, I always appreciate having you around, but sometimes I have no idea what you're trying to communicate with me. Yeah, I don't know. I think he's talking about a specific Pokemon. I don't know which one, though. Uh, let's see. Everybody look left. Everybody look right. My dad's in limelight. He's dead. Rip. Rip. Lion King in general is like a weird movie for me because like I like it. Are you singing about my dad? <laughs> <laughs> I like Lion King, but like, I don't know. Um, My mom said that's the only movie she doesn't cry in because she has no connection with her biological dad. Mm-hmm. 
so it like doesn't really hit her. Nala's anyway. fuck me eyes. We're it not, was inappropriate. We're not talking about this again. Dusk, that's terrifying. Um, we're not talking about fucking. <laughs> we've done this first stream already. Hakuna Matata. Oh lord. Means no worries for your memories. My memories are worried. I'll calm them for you. Ow! It's a problem free philosophy. Reminds me of not another a teen movie. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that one. God damn it, does. <laughs> it's like inappropriate. Well, I mean, because, like, they're literally about to start fucking. Like, yeah. there's no, there is no meme here. The lions are having sex. Like, I mean, strange, not crazy. Sometimes I can create some stories. It's my specialty. I see that. Makes fun of all the teeny, teeny bopper movies. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I'm afraid, I'm afraid I'm going to need a few more details, Druid. Every high school movie ever. Okay, gotcha. I mean, that is true. Since you guys I've known you for five minutes at a party. I want you to get me pregnant. Like, you, what? You guys remember Ned's Declassified? That show was a fucking banger. I didn't have cable. Oh, yeah, right. It was a good one. It was, um, it was literally this kid who was in high school, um, and he was... He was basically writing down all of his experiences to try to, like, basically make, like, a help guide of how to survive being in fucking high school. It was interesting. And a lot more, when I finally made it to high school myself, depressingly relatable. <laughs> um, there's a montage sequence near the end of the movie where they're all saying about how their prom is going to go. And through the entire time, the main characters have sisters making passes at him. Oh, no. What are you doing, step bro? The sound coming from the bottom of a card. Classic ca Dick in the Pumpkin castle trick. Castle and Delta Rune. <laughs> All right. So our line in the song is straight up. So what if we have the same mother tonight? I'm gonna fuck my brother. Oof. <laughs> is this Trisha Paytas? Who? I'm never mind. I just threw massive shade. Anyway, <sighs> is this another makeup thing? Not exactly. Okay, then then tell me about it. Chris Evans is in the movie. <laughs> oh, neat. Um, who who the fuck is Trisha Paytas? She uh sang the fuck me in the ass because I love Jesus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that all you? Is all you had to add? <laughs> uh, boop boop. Chris Evans is a. Uh... Ah, oh, fuck! I had an example and it's gone. Like as soon as I went to go vocalize, my Fake brain was fan. like, "Fucking god damn it, Shannon!" Um, hold on, Chris. Cross Evans. What? Cross. Chris Cross. He's Captain uh, America. He's got that ass. Yeah. He's got that bubble cheekage. Crust Evans. Crust. Crusty Evan. America's ass. America's ass. Fuck yeah. I pledge allegiance to that ass of the United States of America. And for the Republic, Krillis. in which it stands, one nation under his ass... I'll keep I'll keep that in mind, shy guy. Trailer. Okay, I'll watch that a little later. I don't want to blast a trailer through the fucking stream in case it gets it fucking claimed for some reason. I know it probably won't, but I'd rather be safe than sorry because it's like an auto detector thing, and I know it's probably an old ass movie that no one cares about, but fucking after the Lord of the Rings game thing where I didn't even think that that song was from the movie, and it got claimed twice. I I'm just I'm being overly paranoid. Sorry if it gets annoying, but I don't want it to cut up my damn videos any more than I already have to. So we're in Meteor Falls, which looks very different in Ruby and Sapphire. It's all gold. Yeah. For some reason. They changed it. I love the music in here, though. Mm. And there's Team Magma. Movies from 2001. There's a mainstream song in it, too, anyway. All right. They're good enough for me. 
Uh, I don't remember if we have to fight right now. Rise of Aether Definitive Edition comes out soon. It does. And I definitely... I want to try to get in that game because that game does seem really fun. I'm always up for more Smash, and it's definitely very Smash-inspired. As in five days. Oh, wow. I'm going to see you before. So, Team Aqua quote-unquote saved our ass, but we could probably have taken care of them anyway. Yeah. Um. So, basically... Team Magma wants to expand the land for Pokemon to live or something, and Team Aqua wants to expand the ocean for Pokemon to live or something. Uh, because they're dumb, and they don't seem to understand that they're going to be killing themselves. This is Professor Cosmo. Cosmo and Wanda. As in five days. Yep. Five days. Got a Moonstone. Got these... Strange things that are actually ledges. We can jump down them, even though they sort of look like puddles on the ground. Whee! I don't know why there's, like, two sets of stuff here, but whatever. And come down here. Back on Route 115. He's going for a nice, non-moving jog. Yeah, dude. Got a fucking, uh... Got exercise. Uh, Splishy's weak to fighting, but Splishy does have a psychic move, so let's just fucking, let's do it. Come on, Splishy, you got this. I believe in you. I like how they're just floating in midair, just doing that kick. Hidden power. Oh, fantastic. It's hidden power fighting. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. uh, so, here's another w weird piece of Pokemon trivia for you. In HeartGold and SoulSilver, uh, when you go to Kanto, you can get a little upgrade for your phone called the... Um, basically, you play music and it makes Pokemon spawn that don't normally spawn. And the music is from the games that they spawn. So, there's Sinnoh Sound and Hoenn Sound. Despite being a Hoenn Pokemon, uh, Meditate is tied to Sinnoh Sound. Oh. I think it's I think it's because in it's because Meditate is a lot more common in Sinnoh than in Hoenn. For like for because you know we've seen Meditate quite a few times. We have not had an opportunity to catch it at all yet, mm -hmm. and we won't until like the six batch. What uh, an amazingly useful move to have your fighting psychic Pokemon. It on your fighting psychic Pokemon instead of any other fighting move. <laughs> to be fair, though, hidden power is random, so they, they might have thrown it on there hoping for something good and just, uh... Can you squish it real quick? Excuse me? Like my head. I would rather not. Please. I... Please. I need my neck to pop. Uh. Whereas in Sinnoh, you can find it for the second gym. Yeah, in Sinnoh, you can grab all those fuckers immediately. Okay, but it's not hard to discern what type of hidden power is. Also fair. You can fight two Pokemon and have a narrow down. It's a Mac Chop. A Mac. A Mac. Ch a Mac Hop. Ah, good old I Hop. I want a Goth I Hop girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> well. Make me pa pancakes and choke me. That's the real deal. No, it's Pumbler. <laughs> <laughs> Little Machop. Little Mac Chop. Yeah, it's probably enough XP for Splish. Um, what was I saying a second ago? I love you. I love you too, baby. I'm sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. Like, it's really fine. It's not a big deal at all. Well, it's a big deal if you are upset, but you know what I mean. It's, what? It doesn't bother me at I all. I was ab about the girlfriend thing. Oh, no, I don't give a shit. What'd you think I was apologizing for? Like, just... Being think, alive. Well, no, I thought I thought you would like fully recover from your PTSD attack, and we're like apologizing for that because it's. I, I notice whenever you have like an issue, like an hour later, you're apologizing, and I've already forgotten what happened. I'm like, what's wrong? Yeah. So like. No, no, I'm okay now. Okay, good. I'm sorry about that, guys. By the way, yep. I just I like, normally I get some warning, but it just kind of happened. No, you have you have nothing to apologize for. Like, don't like just either either way. Like either way, you have nothing to apologize for. Don't worry about it. 
I will shove this apology down your throat. Unless you're the goth hey. IHOP girlfriend, I'm not sure if Shannon's <laughs> interested. <laughs> oh, hi, Squeakers. I just looked down and Squeakers. I just looked over and Squeakers is staring up at me. Bitch, with I might eyes. be. Bitch, I might be. Well, can you make pancakes? This is an important question. I like how one thing about put the mic back. One thing about Zangus is right. <laughs> one thing about Zangus in this game, in, in for some reason in this game, its claws. Are, oh my god! From scratch. Its claws are just aggressively purple. Yeah. I like Zangus though. My mom used to make really good pancakes from scratch, and she'd we'd get like fresh picked blackberries and stuff and then sometimes she'd make like lavender pancakes but not quite pancakes mm -hmm. like a lavender like pastry and it was so good hmm. i remember recalling a zangus to look like ratchet in middle school that sounds amazing ratcheting clonk <laughs> we got ratchet strap and clanky boy well i mean if you if you want to include poker for later generations you could have ratchet and clink Squeaky, I want to snuggle you, but you don't like me. Ah, <laughs> uh, the eternal struggle. <laughs> Seriously. I remember when I was a kid, I got in trouble for printing a bunch of coloring pages at school and coloring them. Yeah, because it's not a, it's not an appropriate use of the school's ink. Yeah, Even but they let me print a manuscript of my 600-page novel. Yeah. From a word document. Well, because they probably thought they could somehow get money out of that. I did that too. Oh yeah, fucking, I just printed, I did whatever the fuck. I just didn't tell teachers what I was, like, doing. Yeah, I remember I was making, like, a motivational vision board for, like, senior year. I was like, oh, it's just a project, and it, it wasn't. It was for me. Yeah. <laughs> What's the thing? If you just fucking don't my tell- My taxes pay for it. Fuck you. Well, not your taxes. You were a teenager. Well, but... my taxes for the rest of my goddamn life when I turn 18. Yeah, that's true. And uh... when I work, or whatever. No, if you just, um, that's just a decent advice for life. If you just act like you're not doing anything wrong, most people won't look twice at you. Like, straight up. Yeah. I've been in coloring pages. I had a pack of 64 colored pencils. My friend and I skipped gym to color. <laughs> I was that kid who liked gym class, even though I was not athletic in any way. Because I just liked being graded on something that actually, like... I don't know, seemed to be worth grading on rather than my shitty memory. I wish Jim taught you more about moving in ways that felt good in your body and not necessarily like... Yeah, it's just forcing kids running. to exercise, basically. Like, not everybody is into running. Like, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a chonk. What I like is biking, swimming. I like karate. I like weightlifting. Yeah. I like... Well, we had weightlifting in our school. Yeah, but I didn't use it. I like shit that is, like, longer, but low impact compared to, right. like, going for a 10-minute run. So, like, stamina rather than just going in. Right. Um, we did successfully five times before I got caught. That's mint. And that's the story of how I got my first only detention in the last day of school before spring vacation. I had to pick up trash outside the school for half an hour. That seems extreme. Fuck. Yeah. Like, fuck. Like, the kid already got caught. Just throw him in detention, for God's sake. Or just fucking tell their parents or something. Like, damn. So this, uh, this is how we get around to this other route back into Rustboro. So it's, it's, it's kind so of Westeros? a- Westeros? Rustboro. Oh. It's- I was like, Westeros. No. Da, 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 it's, da. it's debatable if this is a shortcut, but Daenerys? I wanted to go I wanted to go back to Slateport anyway, Would so. Would you step on me? They thought it was a good punishment. That's stupid. I remember one time they tried to give me lunch, like, they gave me lunch detention for something and oh. I didn't fucking show up and they're like, you want another lunch detention? And I straight up was like, you you think I'm gonna show up yeah. to a lunch detention? No, I'm going to have lunch. Yeah. Because they were like, no, you're not eating. And I'm like, no. And they were like, we'll call your mom. I'm like, go ahead. She'll kick your ass because yeah. you're not letting me eat. Yeah. My body jail is not built to be like me either. In so in case we, um... Lunch detention was this thing at our school. I don't know if other schools even did this, where basically you would have to eat lunch like silently in like. Another, they didn't even let me have lunch. In, like an empty classroom. Hey, mayhaps. Hey, mayhaps. How's it going? Um, 
It was it was not a punishment either, by the way, because our lunchroom sucked. It was always super loud and disgusting anyway, so. I'm talking about middle school, not high school. No, that was only a thing in middle school. They didn't do that in high school, I don't think. They were trying to tell me to not eat. Maybe it's just because I was a chunk. I'm unsure. But I just didn't fucking go, and my mom was like, don't ever try that on my daughter again. <laughs> I didn't have any friends anyway, so. Oof. Um, let's go this way. I don't want to deal with the trainers I skipped. No, school, like, fucking... Ugh. It's so dumb. Yeah. Like, that's... Like, I hate saying this so often, because I feel like I say this, like, every other stream, but it's just, like... All school was was watching teachers power trip over adults because their own lives are so shitty. Yeah. Like... I don't like how when you're a kid, you kind of get, like... Shit on for existing? Like... I don't want to, I don't know if discriminated is the correct word, so if it's not, I'm sorry, I'm not cultured. No, not, not to interrupt you, but I just wanted to point this out before I do this and immediately yeah. leave. Now that we're ready to do secret power, we can buy TMs for secret power and hidden power as many times as we want. Nice. Sorry, keep going. You're fine. Like, I feel like as a kid, I'm going to use the word discriminate, like, we're just discriminated against because they're like, oh no, I cried because a friend made fun of me. And they're like, oh, shut up. You don't even know what's yeah, bad. Yeah, because they're not and taking you like, seriously. Yeah, but it's like, when you're that young... That's your whole life. Yeah, right. And it's just sh so shitty. Like, like, today I was working and this girl came in for her birthday to Walmart. And her mom got her a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. And she's like... That sounds way trashy, but there is nowhere else to buy most things in New Hampshire. She got all sorts of cool unicorn shit. Like, I straight yeah. up was like, oh my god, I would love this. Like, yeah. I love unicorns. And she was like, she couldn't have a birthday party because mm. of COVID. Right. So she's like, yeah, so I'm only going to have cake all by myself. And I was like, true, but... That means you don't have to share it. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> I'm like, you don't have to share that cake. That whole cake is you. with you, your mom, and that's it. And her eyes got big. She's like, oh, you're right. That's all your cake, babe. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, you know what? I, I know it's not much, but I'm going to put all your birthday stuff into this bag, and it's going to be your birthday bag, mm. your special big birthday girl bag. I gave it to her, and she was very happy. Should we try our luck with hidden power? Shan, I linked you a thing on Discord. Should we try our luck with hidden power? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna look on Discord. Discord. I'm sorry I'm, like, horrible with Discord. I'm, like, so sporadic. It's like, I'm not on there, and then I'm, like, on there every day. And I'm not on there forever. I mean, it's just what happens. We have we have other shit we have to take care of, unfortunately. I would love to just sit in the Discord and vibe with you guys all day. I'll throw hidden power on blip, and I grabbed hidden power just for having it, I guess, just in case. Life is a thing, unfortunately. Unfucking fortunately, dude. If I could just just constantly, if I could literally just sleep, stream, sleep, stream, I would. Trust yeah, me. Same. I but love doing Unfortunately, it doesn't pay the bills quite yet. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. What? <laughs> I was about to start like transitioning into like the fucking annoying plugging joke, but I'm starting to get on my own damn nerves. Uh. All right. So we got, we seeker powered up our dudes because seeker power is just a nice move to have in general. I could teach splish, like can splish learn strength even. Hello mayhaps, we said hey. We might have got lost in the shuffle. I'm sorry, but hello mayhaps. How are you today, my Howdy. friend? Howdy. How is life treating Miss Mayhaps? Where did you put it, Druid? It's probably just in the general, or in art. Oh, this is basically high school. Sorry, it took me a second. You guys see my pixel art in two days ago? Your Charmander? Yes, I did. I loved it. Yes. I would hang it in the fridge. Yeah, I said hi, Mayhaps, but it was only for a second, because yeah. like, we were in the middle of a convo. We were in the middle of just a fucking stream of consciousness, but hello, friend. How are you today? Um, something I also did not point out earlier is uh, this area up here with all the sand. Your pixel art is very cute. Is amazing, please. So the sandstorm is vicious. It's impossible to keep going. Ads keep pausing. It's really annoying. Yeah, uh, YouTube is... You ever get an ad on YouTube that's literally just someone else's fucking video? 
Yeah. It like and it's literally like ten minutes long. Like, it's just someone else's fucking video. Mine's usually like, you fat fuck, here, let's have some shapewear, or you fat fuck, go on a diet. I get a lot of ads for candy. Or it'll be like kettle cooked chips. Mm-hmm. Hello? No, this is what I was watching earlier. I was watching I have a horrible bad habit of watching uh YouTube drama videos. Mm -hmm. I've seen two hour unskippable yeah. adverts. Oh my like, god, I can't yeah, play seriously. this. I cannot play this on stream, Druid, but I am excited. Oh uh, yeah, I've definitely gotten ads on YouTube. The only reason I even get ads is because I can't put an ad blocker on my fucking phone and I listen to YouTube when I'm like doing chores around the house and it's so fucking annoying. This animaniac or animate animate animatic. animatic is adorable. I love her art style. That's why he's ad blocking my computer. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh, oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. I overshot. Fuck! Well, I guess we're fighting this kid. You know, you block Origin. It's a good thing. It's a very, very good thing. But, I mean, you guys turn it off when you watch, when you guys watch us, right? Right? Because you love us, right? I haven't seen the Heathers yet, but I like the music from it. That's a musical, I'm assuming? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm so I am don't a get slut ads. for Phantom of the Opera. True. And we appreciate that. <laughs> Animaniacs is back too. That is also true. Wait, what? Yeah, there's a new Animaniacs. Hello? I think it's on Hulu? Also, no, I don't because I'm subbed. Again, appreciate y'all. We love you. Um, Yay! <laughs> want you to know every time I make that joke, it's all in fun. Again, if any of my jokes get annoying, let me know. I will cry myself to sleep and then never make them again. <laughs> What? <laughs> Pixar is apparently so good that I got customers wanting to draw their OC, which is what I'm doing now. That's awesome, oh, dude. That's awesome. Fucking keep up, keep that up. Being commissions and shit. Family Opera was like my absolute favorite thing when I was a uh, little kid. That Shan's absolute favorite thing as an adult. Yeah. I went to the 25th anniversary show. It was mm. so awesome, and I got like the CD. I got like a rare charm bracelet and a shirt, and bawled my eyes out. <laughs> In sleep he sang to me. I need to check something real quick. When the fuck does Tentacool actually learn a fucking water move? Your mom. 25. Okay. Well, uh... I'm gonna... I literally... I have a fun idea. Just petted her. I have a fun and idea. And she's growling at me. I have a super fun idea. She's such Don't a... do that. Why, Squeakers? <laughs> Because she just wants to vibe. I literally just went... And she grumbled. She just wants to vibe. PayPal is being retired right now, otherwise I'd go ahead and extend my sub right now. Well, we appreciate it anyway. PayPal is weird. Like, PayPal... Yeah. Whenever I go on my PayPal, it's like, you have an error. Like, go to the dashboard to resolve, and then I click it, and it just brings me back to the same page I'm on with or the error still like, there. Or it's like, you have to call, and then you call, and then they're like, this is how you do it online. And it's like, fuck yeah. you. So we're here on Mount Chimney. Fight with Poochie Jim Jimmery, Jim Jimmery, Jim Jim Jeru. Apparently all five official Megalovania sound really good together. Alright. All right. Um, something else that I like is uh, Archie here is just having a 3v1 with his Poochiana. His Poochiana is freaking the fuck out. I love him. Honestly, I have $20 on my payball, so let me fucking pay direct with that. Stop being a douche nozzle. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Mm. Poochiana having a fucking fit. Wouldn't you, though? Like. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is he? <laughs> I don't even know. I made that noise. I don't either. Squeaky, are you gonna be mad if I just... just... Just don't harass the cat, dude. I'm not! You make it sound like I kick her around like a rag doll! <laughs> and I don't! I literally just put my hand on her and she's like... Mah, rah, rah. Grumpy old lady. Well, yeah, if you know she's grumpy and gonna grumble at Who you... Grumpy? Don't I test your luck. Pet. You can pet me. That's not the same! I'm floofy like a cat. Yeah, there you go. Mm. And I don't even have fleas, probably. Probably. I make no guarantees. 
Have you ever had lice? No. No? Me uh, not that I remember. I did when I was a toddler. Oh, you don't purr those on a satisfying? My mother... That's, all, that's, that's valid. According to my mother, she slathered my hair in mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> like, was that a separate event, or is that just how you get rid of lice? No, she didn't have money for lice medicine, so by putting... According to her, putting mayonnaise on your head suffocates them, and it kills the eggs and shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, I... I mean, I don't have lice now, and I'd... she used to be very anal about checking my hair... Once a week, every fucking Saturday, she would pull me up in front of the couch and she'd be like, it's time for your lice check. And I'm like, I am in her. high school. She did this way too long and it was so fucking annoying because my hair was so fucking long. And she'd be like, okay, I'm going to check every single strand of your hair. And I'm like, don't touch me. And it was awful. I didn't mean to trigger you. Like, oh! God damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. You never hated told me lice that. checks. Hey, look, they were Tabitha. awful. I'd like to block them out of my fucking memory. Hey, look, it's Tabitha. We need a pet Jameson award. <laughs> Agreed. Why do you want a pet Jameson award? Could have a haunt the boob reward. I'm only joking. I'll do that, that for free. Get, that could get creepy. Hong Kong. Oh, Especially if I have to say the words Hong Kong audibly every time I do it. Hong Kong. Other one. Hong Kong. There you go. Could have a pet Shannon reward too. <laughs> We appreciate how much you guys want us to pet each other, but, um, there you go. Thanks, baby. <laughs> now pet me. Oh, God, she fell. We should just do a stream one day where, um, we just, we just have the mic, like, up against Beans while he's purring the entire time and we don't talk at all for, like, two hours. Oh, my God, I would die. <laughs> <laughs> it's just beans purring directly in the microphone for like two hours. We get famous. <laughs> we get famous. That's the reason why they stay. It's not for us. <laughs> it's for beans and his only fans. <laughs> you have to make a points thing where it's like get access 100k to... points for his only fans. <laughs> of course, it won't be porny. It'll just be beans. It'll just be beans. Just vibing. It'll just be beans. All right, let's see and if this we is... can, you know. If Beans can earn his end neutral of the kibble, then so be it. Okay, it's neutral on dark. <laughs> Bab. I'm not- I don't say it because I think, like, you're gonna do anything bad to this cat. I say it because I know how much of a bitch this cat is, because I've lived she's with it a for cunt. a decade, and I know- Why? I know what she's capable of. I love you, though, Squeaky. <laughs> But she's fine with you. But the second I even lay a finger on her, she's like, Aah! To be fair, I am her mother. I mean, I guess that's true. I, I've had squeakers since she was old enough to be taken away from her mom. So, like, six weeks, eight weeks? How, how old is it for a cat? I want to say it might be eight. Like, as soon as I could have taken this cat, I did. So, like, she is... She's, she's used to me. She's yeah, been... but I've also been dating you for almost a fucking decade, and that's like half of her fucking lifespan. That's more than her She life. needs to get used to it! That's more than half, because she's only I like 12. I am his wife. Well, I'm not a wife. Fuck! <laughs> the Rivals Workshop is just lovely. Oh, God. Show me the mods. Oh. Quags. <laughs> oh, I love him. Uh, fun fact, there are nerve endings that exist only to recognize a gentle stroking touch. Their activation decreases the heart rate and activates the smile muscle. The optimal speed is 3 to 5 centimeters a second, which means we are genetically wired to cuddle and caress each other as at predetermined velocities. Huh. I did not know that. Maybe that's why I'm so needy. <laughs> because you just need to be stroked at the perfect velocity? Yeah. <laughs> I fucking say it. Um... No, let's save up. Maxi's up here. Are you grumbling and I'm not even... No, that was my stomach. Oh. Do you learned humans have a special need for pets at a certain speed? Yeah, I, I did not know that. I knew, like, people... Pet me at a certain speed. Pet! I don't know how to hit three to five Pet centimeters me. a second. How's that? How's that? You're trying too hard. No! <laughs> 
I knew, like, humans, like, release serotonin when, like, we, like, hug each other and shit, but I didn't know there was, like, a predetermined speed of petting. Oh, I think I hit it. Hmm. Hmm. Him. Oh, no. I think he's winning. I think. I don't know much about Rivals of Aether, but I think Quagsire is winning. Now give us pet rewards. <laughs> now give us pet rewards. My Tina! <laughs> That's what I always thought he sounded like. I think he just sounds Arr. like a, I think he just sounds like a generic barking dog. Barf. Barf. To be fair, Mighty Anna, if I had a dog that looked like that, I'd be pretty happy. Like Mighty Anna's balding. Mighty Anna's pretty badass. Oh no, Mighty Anna has a fucking Oh, do you know what like behind Mighty Anna looks like? No. Oh, hold on. Bork. Cause that fur on his back is not connected. Uh, hold on. Lasagna. Stop it! Why? Because it it's creepy and I don't like it. <laughs> sure honest. Mighty and a back sprite. So yeah, see, like, look, he's like, it like trails. Uh, 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 lasagna. <laughs> God, I don't like it. Now he's winning. Hey! Oh, hey, you did it, man. Welcome, friend. Oh, my God. That hey, quacks is going to town. What's poppin'? Oh, shit, son. Thank you for the raid, my friend. How are you? Thanks, friendo. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to... I I keep missing because his mighty and a sand attacked me twice. Welcome to lasagna. Oh, my God. She will not <laughs> stop saying fucking lasagna. <laughs> it's that cursed Garfield... Uh, uh, oh, we got Minnie in the movie. chat. Not a movie. Video? Yeah! Holy fucking <laughs> shit, woman! Listen, I have been up since 11.20 this morning when the stupid telemarketer called your phone, and I wanted to reach into the phone line, grab them by their earlobes, and tuck them into their eardrums. Bitch lasagna. <laughs> lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the only good voice I can do. Well, that's not true. I can do, like, Mickey Mouse. Snom is also here? Oh, give me the Snom. Who the fuck is Snom? Woo! You know who's Snob Oh my is. god! I love him. Oh my god, I would rather I you go back him. to saying lasagna. Lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even do it. <laughs> but well, I could do a couple impressions, I just... Looking for some drama? Let me serve you some bitch lasagna. No. <clears throat> Looking for some drama? Here! <laughs> Let me serve you some bitch lasagna! <laughs> Why are you doing the Princess Peach voice for that? I don't know. I can do a woomy. Decent. Is or, that a woomy? Or is also... No, woomy is not a Pokemon, Shannon. Oh. Woomy is what Inklings say. Oh. Woomy. Bitch lasagna, bitch lasagna. T-Series ain't nothing but a bitch lasagna. I feel like I'm missing bitch a reference lasagna. here. Bitch lasagna! TV series ain't nothing but a bitch lasagna! So, so, so Dusk, we've established that your two voice talents are woomy and Greg Universe. I can do, um, oh god, who else am I forgetting? Toad. Uh, what do I say? Hi, shit. I'm Toad. Oh, oh shit. shit! Hello! <laughs> Thank hey. you for the raid, Venator. Hello, thank, thank you, you Venator. friends. Venator, I'm doing my horrible impressions. Oh, and thank you for the follow. Ain't nobody got time for that. How's it going? Nice. Bye, take ah. my lasagna. Bitch lasagna is a song written by PewDiePie oh, back god. when he and T Series were in a race to 10 million subs. Mario! Ah. Take my lasagna! You guys have come Woo! just in fucking time. Yeah, you came in time to listen to my god awful impressions. God, two raids in a row. Thank you. Oh, Thank gosh. you so much, everybody. Oh god. We appreciate oh, you. God. How are you, everybody? Yo. I also do Mario, Luigi, Wario, Waluigi, like seventeen oh, TFS characters and more. Follow. Oh, in that case. Yo, yo. Oh, thank you, B Gamer three two I... one. What are all my impressions? I remembered like five. They're of your them, impressions. And I don't remember. Is this versus Maxi? Yes, it is versus Maxi. The the fight that kicked the shit out of me a lot as a kid. And it's honestly not going much more well now. Much more well now. That's proper. You say more well. No. Yes. This rating is... You do not say weller. Much better. Yeah, I... Not more it. weller. Doesn't help your bit under level. True. Eat the Rhyhorn! <laughs> Eat the Rhyhorn! Ugh. <laughs> oh. Unfortunately, I cannot eat any rye. I'm here. You every, every time you have like 15, 20 viewers, y'all stay killing it. Uh, well, we can only kill it with your guys' help, which is why we appreciate you so yes. fucking much. 
Thank I would you. smooch you if it wasn't weird. Fish playing Pokemon number one self-fight. It's in the hype along. Can't stay on too long. It's a bit late for me. I wish you luck. Well, thank you anyway, my friend. We appreciate thank it you, a lot. Thank you, Mr. Venator. Thank you. Thank you, Venator. Venator? What's on you? <laughs> That's his fucking name. Stop it. Especially big Trico's your starter. I love Trico. It and, was... Uh, he was supposed to. He bet... My buddy... My buddy Josh... Uh, his favorite Pokemon ever is Grovile. Hence why it's named Josh. He's also dead, but... Um, so... Not Josh. Josh isn't dead. He is alive in real life. Josh wishes he was dead, but... He also wishes... Never mind. <laughs> Chico's T pose serves dominance. We had no choice. Yeah. Appreciate the notion. Well, we appreciate you. and We always will. Um, Team Pixel has arrived to stop Team Magma. Do you guys like Final Fantasy? I like old Final Fantasy. Like Final Fantasy VI. I played Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I don't have as much experience with Final Fantasy. One of the many reasons why we do this as a team is because we like different kinds of games. Jameson yeah. likes the really old retro games. I like things like Zelda and horror games. Yeah. So. I mean, but you like old Zelda, too, because your favorite is oh, Twilight yeah. Princess. Yeah. <laughs> Eat Zubat. Uh, I don't want to give Corona the Pokemon world. Wouldn't it be Zubota? You've got one of those Discord things I joined that. Oh, uh, we fucking... We have a Discord. Yeah. I'll fucking... Nightbot sometimes blabs about it. I love FF6, yeah, dude. Me too. never shuts up until we need it. We did... We did a Final Fantasy VI Let's Play on the channel, but it was incredibly cursed because we had tech issues pretty much at every fucking turn. I would love to redo that if Final Fantasy VI got like, some sort of updated remake that wasn't fucking awful. Yeah. Um, oh god, Quagsire's gone mad with power. Oh no. Holy shit. I need to play Rivals of Aether. Um... Oh no, he's eating Rhyhorn. Um, no, but I would Final Fantasy VI one of those lists I would love to redo at some point. Yeah. Just because it was fucking cursed as shit, and also it was one of those ones we did. Uh, we had very few viewers at the time, and yeah. we love doing this with you guys. To the Flaring Gym we go. To Flaring Gym we go indeed. But I kind of want to level up my boy Blip just a little more because he's two levels away from learning actual fucking water move, blep, which would be blep, nice. Blep. We should get another one and name it Pleb. <laughs> So this lady here, she's here now that we chased Team Magma away. She sold lava, lava cookies. Lava cookies. Lava cookies Thank are. Thank you. Lava cookies will restore. They'll get rid of any status condition. <laughs> uh, listen, I have to learn how to just talk over you, just shouting in your random voices, or else I would never get a word out in this fucking show. Listen. Cheap full heels, very cheap full heels. The only problem Thank is you have to buy them one you. at a time. Um. Do I have any revives? I thought I had. I have three. three. I'm gonna... Who's I, the girl in the background? This is my girlfriend, Shannon. Yeah. I'm Jameson. Hey, Hi. Man. Um, I'm gonna just run back and heal because I don't want to use up my revives. I'm the really yeah. weird one. Jameson is the dweeb. The, um, yeah. You know. Nightbot Z and the Rhyhorn split some with me. I cannot imagine Rhyhorn would taste good. It would probably taste like... It'd be super tough because it's a rock. Yeah. Well, I was thinking tough because it's big and muscular rhinoceros boy. Don't let her fool you. They're both weird. That's true. I thought she was the annoying sister. No, nope. she's my annoying girlfriend. <laughs> Love you, baby. Wow. <laughs> you're really annoying when you're trying to be on Don't purpose. let her fool you. They're both weird. She, She's right, though. Like, we are. We are yeah. fucking insane. Yeah, a little bit. But, I mean, it's better than being normal because then it'd be boring. Yeah, I can... Instead of being like, oh, how's your day? Blah, blah, blah. It'd be like, lasagna. <laughs> Is that really an improvement? <laughs> yeah. Sing Call Me Baby Jameson. I don't know what that is. She's that grumbling girlfriend that gets flirted with. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. To be your My Little Gremlin. Hey, I just met you. This is crazy. Oh, is but that the song? here's my number. And call me baby. Jameson's a weird one and Shannon's the even weirder one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way of putting it, please. Yeah. Sing Rickroll. Alright. Give me my fucking money or say goodbye. Ch -ch Bang. That's the version I hear on TikTok anyway. What? <laughs> oh, I'm you sorry. Heard that they're fucking actually banning it from the app store. I'm like, are you fucking me right now? Well yeah, because it's literally just feeding everyone's information to fucking China. <laughs> Well, no, they're only banning the app to be downloaded at the 
app store. Oh, but, so if you go on, like, TikTok's website or whatever, you can still get it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, It's like, it. let's put a pinch of communist. But just enough. As a treat. I'm just pissed they got rid of Vine. Yeah. Yeah. TikTok's a decent enough replacement, but you can't ever get the same. What time is in your country right now? It is 1.52 a.m. for us right now. Yeah, right, we're Eastern Standard Time. We stream at peak goblin hours. <laughs> no, that can't be. Yeah, they've been talking about banning TikTok for, like, almost a year now? Or over Couple a year months. now? Yeah. Same. Yeah, it's, um... We stream at peak goblin hours, because yeah. we are peak goblins. East Coast represent, Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah! We got... Chunky clam chowder, fluffinetta sandwiches, and lobsters. You know in other places they make clam chowder with like tomato soup? And it's like red? And it's like why? What? Can you? I didn't... So the cl clam chowder we eat is called New England clam chowder, right? Yeah. Regular clam chowder is made with like tomato soup or whatever. Ew. So it's red. Why? I don't know. I don't know. It's cursed and I hate it. Um, also, I hate fluffernutters. That's blasphemy. Um... And not knowing you'll have a cookie somewhere. Yeah, you know, cheap full heels. You're in Indonesia? Oh, wow. Holy shit. Welcome, my friend. That's awesome. Um, how is it over there? You spelled right horn wrong. Yeah, how, how... What's it like in Indonesia? I've never fucking... Never been anywhere near that. I've never I left this I always want to travel. I've been to Canada, but... My parents went to Canada, but I wasn't born yet. And they went there on accident. Because when you live in New Hampshire, if you go in the wrong fucking direction, you will just end up in Canada. <laughs> I went with my parents when I was a baby, and then when I was a little younger, and we, like, visited a zoo. Yeah. It was pretty cool. You said, like, your mom, like, rode an elephant or something, right? I rode an elephant and uh, a camel. I went to Japan in high school. That's fucking awesome. That's fucking awesome. Uh, I wish I went to Japan. I want to go to Japan so bad. To clarify, not really fan of Marshmallow Doogie with Marshmallow Flowers making fudge. I can, I can respect mm. that. I don't really like marshmallows except for s'mores, Rice Krispie treats, and Fluffernutter sandwiches. So when it's part of something else. Yeah. It's the only time I've left the country. I think that's a fucking, if you can only leave it once, I think that's a pretty good way to go. Mm. I want to live in England. England would be a cool place to live. Beans. England would definitely be a cool place to live. Beans. Depends on like what part of England though. Because it's funny, right? Because uh, people always complain in England that like it, uh, it like rains a lot and shit. Like I love it when it rains. I'd be like, mm. fuck yeah. So I got to raid and lurk. I got to run to the store. You're good, bro. You enjoy You're your good. lurk. You're all good. We appreciate you popping store. in and still listening. Um, I love rain. I love that smell, like, right after it rains. And, like, you can smell the mm. wet earth. And you just feel like yeah, that's a good your feeling. soul is being reborn. And there's actually a scientific reason for that. It has to do with your ions getting changed around from... Correct me if I'm wrong. You get rid of your negative ions and you gain more positive right, ones. Right, right. Because that's to do with your... Uh, with, like, the dampness and shit. Y'all rock out good enough. Don't make it back. Oh, thank you, my friend. Yeah, I, I read that somewhere, too. Like, it has to do with, like, because there's negative ions in rain or something? Yeah. Um. Oh, boy. Uh, the pugget is amazing. Is that the word for it? I don't want to live in England. I have friends who live in England. They go to Domino's. They're paying the same for a small that we pay for a large. Now, that... That Sucks. shit. Um, pugget. Good thing about Indonesia is a lot of vacations about to go to, but that thing is robbery, COVID, and humans don't obey yeah. any law. Oof. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so, you know, you might like it in New Hampshire, actually. <laughs> Except there's a lot more heroin addicts. Well, yeah, but doing heroin is against the law. <laughs> it is. <laughs> just a tiny bit. Yeah. Just a little. No, little. it's just scary. You'll, like, see someone just fucking... Like, in their car, and you're like, oh, all right, then. And you can't tell if they're sleeping or if they OD'd. Stop. Seriously. Stop eating Prim Plump. We eat Rhyhorn. <laughs> Stop trying to eat the poor Rhyhorn, for God's sake. The poor baby. Swablu. Speaking of poor babies. Beans is here. He's a happy boy. He is a happy boy. He loves pets. So I've determined we have Hidden Power Ground, which is something, I guess. What's your favorite Pokemon? I have a hard Lapras. time. I have a hard time picking a favorite anything, but off the top of my head, Rayquaza. Lapras. 
Yeah, you love Lapras. I and also like Sea King and Dratini. And Suicune. You and like Suicune. Suicune a lot. Oh, I love Suicune. No, I take it back. Suicune's my favorite. Yeah. I like water types. Mine's Can either. Can you tell? Yeah, mine is either like Rayquaza or like Nido King or like Venusaur. Swinub. I love those guys. Swinub's good. Lapras are gorgeous. Dusnor, a, a respectable choice. Skarmory's good. Rayquaza's, yes, hell yeah. Um. Sceptile is up there too, honestly. Um, I like. I like I always like the grass starters. Um in game in these games. I also really like uh who is Brutus? Mudsdale. I really like Mudsdale. Charizard's Charizard's a classic. Dragonair. Mudsdale is always named Brutus. Dragonair, Flygon, Kingdra. Septile, I think you're one form too far. Fair enough. Fair enough. Zamazenta. Zamazenta's not bad. Who the fuck is that? The Pokemon Shield dog. Oh. Yeah, there's Zacian and Zamazenta. I'm not familiar with the newer Pokemon games. Yeah, this is fair. pretty much as far as I went. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you said you played Black and White, though. Yeah, I did. Lucario. You really like Pokemon who suck in competitive. <laughs> Mew. Hell yeah, Mew's a good one. You just making Mew, no Mew noises now? Oh, Beans, it's okay. <laughs> he was looking at me like, hello? Could be worse. I could like the abomination that is Dustin Oof. Fat ass oof, my dude. What are you going to do about that, my dude? My friend, that is a bass boost at moment. <laughs> I wish I could make bass boost in noises with my mouth. Like, I just open my mouth, and it's just like, <laughs> As they call it up in what? Eastern Standard Time, you got fucked. The spiders have been sent. <laughs> Fine, eat Kangaskhan. I like Kangaskhan, actually. Why are you obsessed with eating Pokemon? Are you hungry? Are you... Do you need a ever, snack? Ever try to make a Pokemon game? No, but I would love to. I would absolutely love to. Like, I've thought about downloading RPG Maker and, like, grabbing the Pokemon Essentials thing and just fucking winging it, but, like, I don't know. I'm not very smart. You could do it. You could do it. You just need to have more faith in yourself. You need to have fucking patience. I don't have either of those things. No, you don't. You literally, like, try something for five minutes. You're like, nope, hate it, throwing it away. Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> I wish I could, just someone made any good tools to do so. I heard Pokemon Essentials is pretty good. I'll prevent you and turn the one. You should never send creatures against a druid. She's got you there. Your girlfriend is awfully nice. Yeah, she's all right. I keep her around. Yeah. So our bag is full. We cannot it's pick true. up a fern here. I love him to pieces. We've been together for a long time, but holy shit. Pokemon Vore Your Edition. Your patience is like negative. Pokemon Vore Edition might be the most cursed sentence I've read in a long time, boys. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Okay, give one of you the quick cloth right now. Uh, but no, I would love to try and make my own Pokemon game. But I would need to learn how to, like, make good sprites and shit, because I would want to have, like, fake them on. Mm. Uh, but... That You'd be really good at it. If you make, you make a Pokemon game, what would the name of it be? I'd have to find, like, a gemstone or a color or something that's, like, not currently being used. So I, I'm not sure. Like, Pokemon Malachite. I think that already exists as a fan game. Uh, my Pokemon po Citrine? My Pokemon team is shitty. Uh, as, long as, you, as long as you love your Pokemon, it's good. Um... Citrine, maybe. I don't know. Pokemon Amethyst. I think Amethyst is taken. I mean, obviously, you just have it with, like, the same name and not give a shit because they're fan games. Obviously, they don't really own, like, copyright on or anything. But it's like, you want it to... You want people to find your game when they Google it, you know? Metagross is all too Matang achieving fusion. When hunting, this Pokemon pins its prey to the ground under its massive body, then eats the helpless victim using a large mouth on its stomach. Oh? I did not need the information. My god. Ask knows the name of Gia, dude. Yeah, he was a temporary one, so we just gave him a silly name. I'm looking at Pixel Arts Jameson. That is true. Pokemon Spectralite? Is that a real thing? I don't know. Beans, get out of the cupboard. You're worse than a toddler. I love you, Spect but holy shit. Spectralite is an uncommon variety of Labradorite Feldspar. Huh. Sweetie, Apparently, he's pissing off Sweekers, too. I didn't even too. touch you. I literally didn't even touch her. It was my didn't name it. Oh, shit, he. Good news, Ravels is worth playing now. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> um, I forgot what we were even fighting. You gotta move. Oh, never mind. 
No, I read chat and then forgot what Pokemon we're even up against, so I was like, what do I send out? Um, you have Acorn against Acorn. Acorn against Little Acorn, yeah. Big Acorn against Little Acorn. Mm-hmm. Acorn. Acornception. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was a good one. That wasn't as good as mine earlier, though. No, that was a nightmare. I thought it was going to be a lot smaller than that. Can I eat your acorns? Please don't. I need those. With consent? Maybe. That sounded bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're here in Lava Ridge Town. Dang, this guy is hungry as fuck. Yeah, dude. Fucking B Gamer is Go fucking starving. Go get a snack. Go get a snack. B Gamer's got the munchies like I've never fucking seen. Go get some water. I am not. Mmm, I beg to differ. I'm so close to asking animal facts. <laughs> Did you know? Oh, don't, don't tease the poor people. <laughs> I'm gonna give him one. I just wanted to do my bit. Aw, oh, I got you, fam. Oh, there we go. Druid, Druid requested one. Give him that sweet fact. Did you know that wolves can go more than a week without eating? Really? Yeah. I have a hard time believing that. I eat... What? I eat Bears. Bearscute is another Pokemon. Oh, okay. I was gonna give him a free one, so let me give out another one. Yeah, give him, give him a freebie. Did you know almost half of the world's pigs are kept by farmers in China? Well, it's because China is so big, I imagine. Or maybe this really like it's a lot of pig. Or they might just really like pork fried rice, which I do too. Well, I mean, I know they cook with a lot of pork. Yeah. And I mean, America probably gets a ton of pork from them. Yeah. It's gonna deposit some. Boy, of these. have I ever heard of the Chinese? Hello. Hmm. <laughs> just gonna not read that. I'm also gonna ask you to. Calm down a little, bud. <laughs> Alright. So, Bleep, or Blep, whatever. Bleep! Blep's hidden power is ground, so we can... No, you're good, bro. You're, you're good. fine. You're good. We can... We can just go in and get XP off these trainers, because we're in the fire gym. Guys, like a 16, we need you like a four or five max. <laughs> Oof. We appreciate the energy though. Yeah. We love good energy. Acid sucks as power and emerald is 40. Yeah. I thought you were just going to talk about acid, like acid, and no. I was like, oh. No, acid's not a great move, but in one more level, it's going to learn a water move. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to survive. Thank this you, B Gamer. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Thank you, friend. We try to be pretty r cool. Pretty, we try to be cool. Pretty chill. We stream. try to be cool. We fail because we're nerds, but, you know. Bubble beam. Bubble beam, yep. Gotta get Of course, beam. we're gonna, like, immediately get surf in, like, a couple minutes after, but, you know, it'd still be ni it would still be nice to have. Yeah, we just try to go cool, vibing. But yeah, we just, because we're just, just... Hanging we, out. We just sit back, play some games, vibe, you know. It's just like when you're a little kid, and uh, all people are nerds in their own way. That's true, though. That's true. Yeah. Some people are video game nerds. Some people are D&D &D nerds. Some people are sport nerds. My you know? dad is a massive Skyrim nerd. And a hunting nerd, if that's a thing that exists. Yeah. <laughs> um, No, your dad fucking... Your dad, like, lives and breathes Skyrim. Yeah. Which is respectable. Skyrim's a good game. It's a good game, but he's like, thinks it's the game to end all games. And I'm like, no, it just ruined how you think of games. Yeah. I respect... Oh, oh thank you, thank fat-ass Pikachu! <laughs> <laughs> thank you so I much, fat-ass Pikachu. I love that name. That's beautiful. Yes, um, bitch. Work it. Um, What was I saying? Must be a Gen 1 Pikachu. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Chonkachu. Um, Skyrim. Oh, yeah. My dad really, really likes Skyrim. But he doesn't... Like, not every game should be like Skyrim, because it's yeah. all gonna be the same, and then it's, like, not gonna be fun anymore. Especially since Bethesda's the one making them. And, like... Beans, Beans what, what the are you fuck? doing? 
I'm gonna have to go check on our crackhead cat in a minute, guys. I'm sorry. I think he's um, climbing in the cabinet again. Probably getting potatoes. Did you close the fucking pantry? Our cat has a fetish for potatoes. He tends to get potato and put them around the house and in our bed and in our shoes. I don't know why. Send help. Because they roll and he likes the roll. I don't know. He's just like obsessed with potatoes. Boil Thanks. him, fry him, stick him in a stew. I think stew. he's Damn getting right. into the patat. Uh, hold, hold up. Boil me... him, fry him, stick him in a stew. Gotta chew him up and put him in her shoe. Hello. <laughs> All right, so Blep will be useful for the gym now, so let's just put someone else up front to soak up some XP. Um, what was I saying a second ago? Your mom. Got Not him. that. Um, I fucking win. No, especially if it's Bethesda's one making them, you know, like because of all the recent shit. Like, I don't expect Elder Scrolls Six to be good at all. Like, that game's probably gonna suck. I'm gonna buy it, find out though. I guess, but like, damn. I like Oblivion more. I yeah, uh, you. you... I, it looks awful and it needs a graphic remake bad yeah but i like the idea behind oblivion it's like you literally go into hell there's demons everywhere like mm -hmm. i feel like the characters are a little more you know a little more deep. rad instead of like i took an arrow to the knee lasagna <laughs> so uh doom Eternal. i've not had a chance to play doom eternal or perfect dark uh i've I heard... played a tiny bit of perfect dark but i've never beat it i heard perfect dark's really good though mm. I have heard I've heard really good things about both those games. I think Doom Eternal was a game Josh played and he like couldn't get like one last achievement on it because it had to do with like the online and the online was like super dead. Mm -hmm. As well as 007. I played like a little bit of like the N64 one on like an emulator years ago, but like not much past. I don't know if there's like more 007 games out there that are like worth playing. Bubblebee. Beans, I are you getting in the potatoes? I don't know. I, I think I, I thought I just heard him sneeze, but... Yeah, he's probably fucking our potato stash. <laughs> Mother, I just want fries. You are a fry. Conker's Mad Fur Day is a good one. I would love if they put Conker in Smash Brothers, because then they'd have to, like, make a character who's one of his taunts with strategy just be giving you the finger. You can get a 14% chance shiny in Pokemon Crystal. Yeah, the, uh, the egg, right, from the daycare? Is it... I know, I know the egg you get from the daycare that has the baby Pokemon has a higher chance of being shiny. I just don't know the chances off the top of my head. Which isn't in Harkle and Soul Silver for some reason, and I kind of wish it was. I know that game is literally the one that gives you a freebie shiny anyway, but, you know. Cat wants fries. God, I, I want fries. Fucking human wants fries. He'd pull a bomb out of his mouth and explodes have an afro. <laughs> That's his taunt. I would love it. Pokemon Snap is horrible. No, fuck you. No, Pokemon Snap is amazing. And when that new Pokemon I'm excited snap, for the new Pokemon that snap. new Pokemon snap that I fucking I vibe with that if you randomize so I'll say with the red Gyarados is random shiny which is nice yes very I love playing randomized ROMs it's fun just see what random bullshit happens Mr. B game <laughs> you're under you are undeserving of the spiders dusk do you understand how horrifying that is without context or well, actually, no. That's probably the point. <laughs> oh, kind sir. No, uh, you are unworthy of the spiders. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's uh. That's our mod. He's got spiders. The scorpions have been sent in their steed. Stead. I think it... In their stead. Hmm. Stead. It is not steed. Same thing. No, Let's actually. See. Same thing. Oh. I'm gonna say that to people randomly. What? You're not worthy of the spiders? <laughs> May I offer you an egg in these trying times? Is it a spider egg? Cause I'm the garbage man. Imagine you're going to make an omelet and you cracked an egg open and spiders just came out of it. Can you stop? <laughs> I actually. Sorry. I'm so uncomfortable. Scarab, actually. That I don't know if that's worse. She was already pouring him a brimming glass of spiders. Uh, I would eat the spiders. Oh well, my god! You got bigger balls than I do, friend. Gross! <laughs> Let me tell you. Ew. My mom told me I ate a spider once. Uh, apparently when I was, like, a baby, 
There was just a spider walking around on the ground, and I just fucking grabbed that fucker and... <laughs> Good God. She said it was the most disgusting thing she'd seen in her life. <laughs> like, I just went for it, apparently. So did I. I did it with a bee, too. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I got stung in the mouth. Yeah! Favorite PokeTuber? Um... Give me your taste, I'll assume yours is Verlissify. Um... Nah. Does Chugga Conroy count? <laughs> um... That's supposed to be a dude who talks about cursed shit. <laughs> Sorry. Um. <laughs> I, I like guess. when the cursed shit poster is like, yo. He's like, whoa, what the don't fuck? Don't surpass me, Kurt. Um, okay, actually, you know, I guess. I've actually eaten scorpions. Not like alive, though. No, they were in a lollipop. Okay, that's less weird. Um, actually, favorite PokeTuber. They were crunchy. I guess, um. Crunch. Your boy's back from pooping. Good to have you back. Um. Nice. You I have guess... a good dump? I guess Pokey Aim. I'm sorry. I guess Pokey Aim. I really like him. He he's the one who helped me get into like competitive. I don't know what the hell you ate because I haven't sent them yet. <laughs> uh. I just ate some other random scorpions I found. Were were the candy scorpions? Good. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck. I, I mean they were all right. They were like a cheap lollipop encased in a bug. And the bug was don't, very crunchy. Don't you mean the other way around? The bug was encased in the candy? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yes. <laughs> eh, scorpions are famous for their delicious nougat center. What the fuck? <laughs> nah, it wasn't that great. Honestly, crickets were better. I... I, mm. I got sour cream and onion covered crickets and they were all dead in a bag. Or you could just get chips like a normal person. They actually weren't that bad. If, like, once you get over it, like, the fact go. it's a bug, you're like, oh, it's not bad. Or eat normal snacks. Well, yeah, it's not like I'm constantly eating crickets. It was at this... <laughs> <laughs> I was at this... I, we went to, like, it was, like, some sort of mine or something in Iowa. And then, like, in the gift shop, they had, like, the weird... You know, they have, like, rock candy. You had, the, like, the scorpion lollipop. You had... Yeah. Like, um, you could get, like, hot frog legs. You could get things like that. Hmm. So it was, like, all sorts of weird food things. And me, being the adventurous eater that I am... That's why I put it. I've always wanted to try different things. I try to really not bash other people's cultures. And I just want to try it, even though it's weird. I ate frog for breakfast, slimy and gooey and weird. I, I I would not probably try frog, I gotta say. I had frog legs before. Um, They're ever, not bad. Ever heard of spy hopping? Mm, cannot say I have. Cannot say I have. Spy hopping is behavior exhibited by... Uh, something. Such as a gray whale above and some sharks. When an animal spy hops, it vertically pokes its head out of the water. Oh! So it just is like, mm. bonjour. <laughs> Hello. Is there a word for when fish just jump out of the water for no damn reason and just, like... Being stupid? <laughs> yeah. Like, is there a word for that? Did I ever tell you the time I went swimming and there was, like, a, a bass and I literally caught it you with mean, my hands? You mean breach? Is, is that just breaching? Oh, wait, you caught a... I'm sorry. I, yeah, I had, it took me a second to process that. You caught a fucking fish just with your bare hands? Yeah. Like, out of the was, air like, or swimming. out of the water? No, I was swimming. Okay. And, like, apparently I stepped in its nest and I was scuba diving. Mm -hmm. And it got all mad and it was like... So I stuck my finger out, it bit my thumb, and I just got it by the lip. <laughs> it came out to threaten me, uh, unfortunately. And I just grabbed him by the lip and I was like, I got a fish! Did you eat it? No, I put it back. Oh. So you pissed it off, you yoinked it out of the fucking water. Yeah, I want to show my dad. Hmm. Ah, uh, uh, yes, fish sleeping out of water is called breaching, okay. Ah, yes, Mario from Smash Bros. Hmm. <laughs> Something's wrong here. <laughs> no, eat the fish. No, the fish was n not super big. I didn't want to do that. Yeah, that's fair. Wait for it to get older, then eat it. Yeah. Put in a fish tank and then just... No. Just fucking one day, just betray it. <laughs> eat the cat. I've never had catfish. Super good. I've heard. Never eaten Nemo. Do like, not eat Nemo. Me and my dad used to go catfishing all the time. Hello. <laughs> if I was, like, on a boat in the middle of the ocean, I just saw, like, a shark's face just looking at me, I think I'd shit myself. 
I'd be like, hi, buddy, can I boop the snoot? Do not boop the snoot. Forbidden boop snooting. I love Mario's limit our send psych up back. <laughs> they got a patch him, dude. The forbidden boop. The forbidden boop. Boop forbidden the snoot. Forbidden snoot. You know that thing where it's like if a shark is attacking, you're supposed to like punch it in the nose? Yeah. Is that real or is yes. that just something someone made punch up? Punch it in the nose and then stick your fingers in its eyes. You are severely overestimating my bravery in the face of a shark trying to well, eat me. Well, okay, so... All these new people are gonna think I'm a psychopath. I'm sorry. Normally, the shit trickles out over time. But <laughs> we're just learning a lot about me today. So, my grandmother used to have what I thought was a game for the longest time. And there were actually, like, little trivia cards on what you should do if you're ever stuck in the wilderness and, oh. like, a specific situation happens. I was gonna say, what do you mean you thought it was a game? So, I would, like, take a dice roll the dice and then pick the card like if it did a three like pick the third card sure and i just like over years and years of being at my grandmother's like i would read through them yeah so i know a lot of random survival facts huh um i, I mean it's a important bunch of chat. predators and sensitive noses ever been hitting the nose hard enough to get your eyes watering i i guess so but i've never been eating somebody at the time especially when you combo it from a pocketed fireball and smash metal out of those are all things he can do oh tetris fucking nintendo fucking favoritism what's the first rule about fight club i couldn't tell you to fight <laughs> got him fucking square up um so cute i like torkoal um but yeah it's i i, I realize i sound like i'm actually psychopathic because i went from bugs to fighting to sharks more bugs to fighting off sharks immediately so same thing happens to any other predatory animal. We all have sensitive snoots that do not appreciate boops. Yeah, I don't like it when I get booped because then I sneeze. That's true. Watch. No! <laughs> Stop it! I don't trust you. But You've broken my tiny trust. But I love you. I love you too, but you're gonna boop me and then I'm gonna sneeze. I won't boop you. But it does make her sneeze almost 100% of the time. It's hilarious. It's not. It's hilarious. It's awful. I hate that Zach discovered that about myself. I didn't know that about myself until he kept doing it. <laughs> Don't remember. I've come to bargain. That's a cut e couple. He meant to say cute couple. I know. I'm just making fun of him. <laughs> Don't make fun of our new viewers. I'm not trying to make fun of him, but I G gotta treat everyone equally, you Give know? it like a stream before they're making fun of people, for God's sake. Yeah, we try to be cute sometimes. You have betrayed my tiny trust. Exactly. It's weird. She gets it. It's weird. See, we're just gonna elope, you know? It's weird. Squeakers doesn't mind getting a bath, but Beans hates. Yeah, Squeakers is fine with, like, having me give her a bath, but any second I try to just, you know, give her a nice pet, let her know she loves, she's like... <sighs> she she already knows she's loved. She doesn't need, uh, she doesn't need the reassurance. So we got the Go Goggles. Go oh. Goggles. All my cats hate a bath. I, I mean, we're, we got a 50% going on. So... What we're supposed to do is go back to Petalburg and fight our dad. But now we can go into the desert to get some more XP, which we should probably do. Um, and then probably once we take down Norman, we'll probably be the end of uh, this episode. Okay. Because we've been going for about three and a half hours, so mm. we'll probably hit... We might even just end it before we fight Norman, depending on how long we take in the desert. I had a black lot of the hay bath time because my mother's day of teaching him to swim was taking him out to a boat in the middle of the lake and dump him in the water and leave him to figure him out so he was terrified of water. Jesus. Poor dog. Listen, that works with, like, kids because they can communicate, like, hey, get me, but, like, not exactly with a dog. Um, yes, yeah, so we can head in the desert now. He was such a good boy, though. Oh, good boy. Scared of water, but good boy. So something, uh, just one little joke I like in later Pokemon games. In Gen 5, when you go into the desert, there's, like, a sandstorm effect over it all the time. And, um, literally, like, almost every, like, there's a bunch of NPCs that are, like, yeah, apparently in Hoenn, people are just pussies and can't go in the desert without fucking goggles on. Oh. Yeah. You've come to bargain. What are you bargaining for? I love Smash Mudgeon. Hmm. Hmm. Is that Sans Undertale? Where? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Pussy Hoenn trainers. Tend to this. Not the stream. Well, just like your existence? Because that can be arranged. Dusk, send no. another round of spiders. No, it's scorpions for him. Her. Them. The bees. Scorpions the for the bees. Not the purple ghosty hyena thing on the left. Yeah. Trainers and Ori would have fucking handled this just fine. Him. Okay. Him. Okay, good. 
Yeah, if I ever fuck up any pronouns, by the way, please fucking call me out on it. Because I want to make sure you have your correct pronouns. I just call everybody dude. I'll send spitty <laughs> Oh god, he's learned gene splicing. It's a beautiful day outside. Oh yeah, I love that scene. It is 2.21 a.m. here. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Nice. He's he's doing a bit, baby. I know. <laughs> I'm playing along with it. Oh, okay. Damn. I, I can never tell I'm not with... that stupid, am I? You're not stupid, but I can never tell with you because you just go along with it without saying anything or giving me any sort of signal. I'm an Apache tech helicopter, referred to be referred to as a. That can be arranged. Duly noted. Can I uh, just call you helicopter? Helicopter? For short? Or do you want me to do Apache attack helicopter? Well, no, referred to as a. So, you know, it's more like. Uh... Shall You shall die next. You got a skill? Yeah, it's a very, very fucking worthwhile skill, making helicopter noises. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's just like, you know, I was hanging out with, uh, him, her, and It's nice by the sound effects that made my day. Always a pleasure. I prefer the raffle copter for it goes, uh... I can, uh, use a very similar mouth movement to make machine gun noises. Yeah. Like that. I don't know why you can do that. You can also sound like a yak. You have to do it more than that. Well, it doesn't really come in on the mic because, like, it... Yeah. But, yeah, yaks make, like, a weird, like, a very strange sound that I can't really describe. Let me eat right <laughs> Please. Here we go. Now go find a Rhyhorn and go eat it. I can't, I'm not stopping you. I'm just asking. I was just asking why. And the spiders. Do not eat the spiders. I, I was referencing an ancient meme. How ancient are we talking? Oh. Ah, 2007. A simpler time. Let me get a large vanilla X with extra cherries. No, I don't like cherries. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I love cherries. Absolutely. I told you, ancient. Yeah, that's simpler time. You guys remember what like old YouTube was like, like when for YouTube was first around, and like everything was all blocky and shitty. Yeah. Cherries suck. Finally, someone Charlie, who agrees with me. Cherries are terrible. The candy mountain, Charlie. Charlie. Oh, oh god damn it! They stole our candies. I don't give a fuck. People refer to me as he or she. All right. Well, all right. I'm just gonna stick with Druid. <laughs> All right, Druid sounds good. If you ever discover a preference, let me know, my fellow particle of space and time. Kakuin definitely disagrees. Kakuin definitely disagrees, and I respect his opinion. Did you lay opinion. this egg? There's no fucking, fucking way, way that came, came out, out of a, a human, human butt. butt. I can't believe that's, like, a thing. I spent, like, an hour trying to find that meme for Shadow, and I found out about it, but I couldn't find it again. <laughs> I was losing my mind, and she was like, is this something you made up, and you're fucking with me? I'm like, why would I just do this at 4 a.m.? I'm so lost. Uh, Jojo Bizarre Adventure jo Jojo, meme. there... Do I have to explain yes. this now? Okay. So, there's this Jojo fan manga, whatever you call it, a Dao Dao Jinshi, or whatever the fuck you... What is? Um... Where Kakuin and Jotaro get together and have a kid, and not like they adopt one, like... Kakuin lays a fucking big, uh, fucking... He lays an egg, egg, like, bigger than his torso, and everyone just goes with it. So now, in JoJo, like, the JoJo community, people laying eggs is just a meme, and we lost two viewers to start explaining that. Um, da Do Jin Shi. Okay. Except for Polnareff. Yeah, Polnareff's, like, the one dude who's fucking, like, asking questions. Um, Sam, I am, I do not like them with a sand slash. <laughs> I do not like them anywhere, Sam, I am. Oh. Hello, beans. Yeah, Polnareff's like the one dude asking what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Everyone else is like, oh yeah, I laid an egg, the you know, like you do. one time he's not my idiot. Yeah, the one time Polnareff has like a brain cell going correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you, sir? <laughs> 
I hope to God you guys heard that on the mic. What's wrong, bud? He's upset. Squeakers is up there, and he wants to come up here. Beanie, over here. Over oh, here. That was amazing. <laughs> he was so upset. Come here, honey. Up. You don't need permission. Oh, come on. Druid would like you to pet the kitten. Bring the mic over to him and start petting him. Maybe he'll hop up. Or just scruff him and hoist him up yourself. <laughs> ah! Here you go. I have to get him to purr first. Oh, sorry. I just blocked him in the head. He appreciated the pet. Hi, yeah. He appreciated and immediately fucked off. Hello, person. Is that a picnic in the desert? Something, something sandwiches. Thanks, my spiders needed to be fed. Gotta, gotta feed them on time, or they get sick. You feed the rats on schedule, or they get sick! Thank you, Shannon. Blow that piece of junk out of the sky! Thank you, Shannon. I just had sex. I'm about to eat nachos! I love Adam Driver. Adam Driver, if you're somehow watching this, I love you. <laughs> you had to think about something that would be appropriate to say to another human being. <laughs> on, like, the 0.1% chance Adam Driver sees this. Yeah. Someone tweet that clip to Adam Driver. Please, no. Do it. Oh my god, I would die. He's so cute. Uh. Quickie deck. There we go. Jedi! <laughs> Do it. Do it. Yes? What's wrong, baby? I'm just tired. I love you. I love you. Don't worry. We'll, we'll be ending fairly soon. Do it. Go, Acorn. Acorn. Ninja Power, Earthquake. Alright, good. Palpatine when Darth Vader tells Loki he's his father. I knew it. Did did Palpatine know that? I believe it's implied he did. Okay. Is it one? It was it one of those like open secret kind of things? Like he knew, but well, like, it's it, kind of when you know the pieces, they fit. But right. without those pieces, you're like, oh. Right, right. You know what I mean? You see, it's funny to me that that's... Because, like, the whole, like, I am your father thing, like, that's considered one of the biggest plot twists in, like, movies and shit. But if that just randomly happened, like, a movie nowadays, people would be like, that's so contrived and bullshit well, and just out of nowhere. It wasn't random. It was a good plot twist because it was hinted at throughout all the movies. No, but I mean, like, he because... He tried to tell Anakin that his wife died because he choked her out. Ha. Huh. No, but I just feel like... I feel like if that happened, like, today... People would 100% like... I said, everybody eat the spiders. Do not eat the spiders. Um, I feel like if that happened today, people would just be like, Oh, what the fuck? Like, that's such an ass pull. Like, cause I people feel... always bitch. Well, I know that. But I mean, like... Because that was one of those things where, like, you found out more about it from, like, the prequels, which obviously didn't exist yet. Mm, you found out in the original movies, too. You could put it together in the original. Right, right. But I mean, like, you got more backstory about it. Yeah, it pretty much just gave the extra backstory for that. Right, right, right. 
And then you also got young Obi-Wan Kenobi, which was a blessing to humankind that we didn't deserve. All right. Just saying. And then a couple decades later, we got Baby Yoda, which is a curse upon humanity. No. <laughs> baby Yoda is baby. I have a poster and a Baby Yoda. I know that. Ah, General Kenobi. You <laughs> are a bold one. Evan McGregor is yum. Is the name Evan? Or is it Ewan? I'm pretty sure it's Evan. <laughs> ah, General Kenobi. You are a bold one. So what was the deal in Star Wars with that one robot dude who has like four arms? Why is he not in, in more things? I'm pretty sure Does he's... he just get immediately murked as soon as he's on screen? No, I'm pretty sure he's in the Clone Wars. Oh, uh, okay. No, that's how it's spelled. General Grievous. Yeah. Okay, it is it is Edwin. It's General Grievous. Because the movie sucks. <laughs> I haven't seen Clone Wars, uh, the show. I heard Maybe. it's really good. Yeah. Apparently. I heard that the Clone Wars show that was on Cartoon Network was apparently super good. But, like, I'm not a Star Wars dude. So, I'm like, I never really watched it. But, I mean, I'd probably be more open to watching that than the movies just because TV shows are more my speed than movies. Yeah. I don't know if that would be a good way to get into Star Wars necessarily, but... But, yeah, General Grievous is pretty cool. YouTube. Yeah! <laughs> Eat everything. I will after the stream. Trust me. There is always after stream snacks. Uh... Uh, Splishy needs some Just more Just take a look at this. Take a look at this? Alright. Even eat yourself. Damn right. I'm just gonna mute this. Well, this art style is different than I thought it was. Yeah. I thought Clone Wars was like a 3D cartoon. Nope. He's spinning like a motherfucker. Hmm. See, like, I have no idea who any of these people are. To me, I'm just watching a robot fight four random nameless aliens. Oh. Oh, that dude might be dead. I should probably get back to looking at chat. So am I, but he's doing it so fucking well. Grab some snacks, grab some water, grab a spork. I love sporks. I wish they were more mainstream. You pretty much only see them at fucking... salad bars. I couldn't find any at fucking Walmart. Hmm. Probably buy them online. Like metal sporks? Probably. I imagine. Sporks are... They exist. I miss when KFC had sporks. Oh, I know. I miss when they had potato wedges. There are two colors anime series. One is 2D, the other is 3D. Both are amazing. Oh, okay. Just fucking grabs a dude by the face with his foot, flings his ass with another front, into another front flip. <sighs> fucking. See, like, I see, like, fight scenes from Star Wars, and I'm like, yeah, this looks cool. But mm. it's like, then all the other shit in between, I'm like, I don't care anymore. They've gone mainstream. Ah, yes, the mainstream sporks. This dude is basically a robot samurai skeleton. Yeah. You see, that sounds badass. Now that sounds like Robot Pirate Island. Ah, damn it. Hmm. I meant to name one of the Skyward Sword episodes Robot Pirate Island. I don't think I did. <laughs> he barely talks silent badass. Hmm. So, my friends, I have to go sleep. Maybe I can come back. Be happy. Take your joy pill. Remember, don't take them at the same times. Every eight hours. All right. Good, good night, shy guy. Thank you, shy guy. We will 100% take the joy kill. The joy kill? The joy pill. Holy shit. K kill <laughs> That's me. That's the opposite of joy. I will 100% take the sad pill. No. And then the movies happened. Is he? Is it like in the movies, he just never shuts the fuck up? Camper bow. Made him a coughing bitch whose first idea is to retreat. Yeah. That's lame. This, this pill makes you larger. This pill makes you small. Take the red pill. <laughs> Did the pills in the Matrix do anything, or was it just sort of, like, metaphorical? Like, if the dude grabbed... I've never watched the Matrix. If the, if the dude grabbed both and just ate them both at the same time, would he have just, like, exploded? I, I've never watched the Matrix. I have no idea. 
Metaphorical. Okay. The prequels suck. Shannon will have an argument with you. Well, I don't have an <laughs> argument. I mean, out of all three trilogies, those are definitely the lower ones. Yeah, but you still like them, though. I wouldn't pick them to watch first. It's not that the prequels suck. When comparing them to all the other Star Wars movies, they suck. Mm -hmm. But if you compared it to a lot of other movies with all the themes that are in it... They're, like, not that bad. It's not boring, and it's not annoying, you know? Mm. Half of the reason why the prequels kind of suck is because it's based in space politics. Okay, that does sound super boring. <laughs> I think Morpheus was calling the smartass. Would have been worth it for that scene, though. There's a theory that Neo's still in the Matrix, just on a different level of the computer program. Huh. I haven't seen, I've seen, I saw, like, the first Matrix movie when I've I was, like, a little kid. I've never watched them. I mean, they were good. I mean, the first one was pretty good from what I remember, but again, that was years ago when I was a I kid. liked Inception. I don't think I've seen Inception. I think I'd rather watch the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie than any Star Wars prequel, but the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie is badass. Sequels aren't worth it. Yeah, they're not worth it. You really don't learn much from them. But mm. it's not like the movies are terrible but they're not great. When you're Just crying. compared. That's like comparing, like, gold to, like, a dollar store ring. Right. It's like, it's still fine, but... If you're gonna watch The Matrix, don't bother with your loader or your visitor, or whatever they're called. Okay. No, not the good third one, Jameson. The shitty one with Anubis. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I like The Simpsons movie. I've never seen it. It's good. It's it's funny. It's better than a lot of episodes of The Simpsons in any sort of recent time. Homer. No, oh, me. Oh, me. That's all I know. Spider pig. Spider pig. Does whatever a spider pig does. Can he swing from a web? No, he can't because he's a pig. <laughs> Such a high bar. <laughs> Not saying it's necessarily an accomplishment, I'm just, just stating a fact. Uh, Splishy's dead. Uh, oh my god, Splishy lived. Holy shit. You can take Spider Pig with you, he's not Spider Pig anymore, he's Harry Plopper. Remember Spider Bees? No. Splishy coming with coming in clutch, hell yeah. Butch, I got a plan. What's your plan? What is your plan, B Gamer? Something iffy about that SOP sign. Was that the last trainer? I healed for no reason. I healed for no reason. Coop deeply relates to this rat. What? <laughs> oh, hold on. I gotta unmute my thing. Hold on. Turn that up. <laughs> Same. Yeah, I feel that. I don't Tahiti know. and mangoes. Nice. Decent. Spider bees. Spider bees. Does well. Oh god, they're in my eyes. <laughs> oh god. 2020 would be the year they discover flying spiders. Yeah. Alright, I think we'll make our way back to Petalburg. And then we'll call it a night. We'll save Norman for next episode, I think. Okay. Because it's getting pretty late. Yeah. That's a little tired, don't you? Ah! Yeah. They like, discovered sharks live in a volcano. That's badass. Spider hello? can already fly? Excuse me? Okay. Druid what? They and live then... in, like, the water, like, underneath it. Or in, like, or, like near an underwater volcano. Are you fucking volcano. me right now? Yeah, Druid put it in the chat. Hold on, let me find it again. I'm sorry I'm terrible with Discord. I'm trying to be better about it. Where was it? Ignore all that. Uh, where is it? Sharks discovered a living a volcano. Here it is. Oh and the link is broken. Hmm. Let me try that. Okay, never mind. I got to work. Sharks discovered a living in a volcano. Sounds catch ever starts in a volcano. Drop the camera in the main crater of a volcano. Not actively erupting to be safe from camera in there. The water inside the crater is hot, acidic, and clouded with sediment, making this volcano a likely place for marine life. Oh, they're just living in hot acid water. Nice. That's terrifying. 
Called jummy spiders and they're assholes. Jummy spiders are adorable. No, jummy spiders are not adorable, but I wouldn't call that flying. More of ambush prayers use their web of storage more than anything. Uh, huh. Uh, <laughs> no. Don't like that. No. That gave me the willies down my spine. Hey, sweetie. Hey, beans. I made that all, all that up and it's not real. <laughs> yeah, that was a Photoshop. Spiders don't have wings. Yeah. It's still awful. I think there is a spider that will grow. <laughs> ah! What the fuck, you two? You two, that's all beans. Get the fuck out of here. I saw her swat at him. Jesus Christ. It's her thing that scares me because she's like, meow. And she wouldn't do it if beans would stop being a fucking brat 24-7. And she would also not do it if she didn't attack him. <laughs> what assholes? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, sorry about that. What the fuck? Her, it's her yowl that scares the shit out of me. God damn it. I'll have to cut that out of the video. <laughs> Holy shit. Anyways, watch that spider give a high five. No. Uh. Oh, he's kind of cute. Okay, I normally don't like spiders, but this one is a little cute. Imagine if it just bit that dude and they just died immediately. Oh. Aw. That was a tiny fucking spider. Do spiders... Hmm. Okay, that one is kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Still wouldn't want it, like, walking on me, but... His baby. I have a cat named Casey who won't play with my dog. Oh. Poor dog, so alone. I watched a Matrix YouTube poop where every time Neo took the red pill and put in his mouth, another red pill would appear in Morpheus' hand would just keep saying, Take the red pill. <laughs> take the red pill. Take the red pill. Take it. Your cat is racist. Get rid of it. What were you asking about spiders? The dude said in the video, he's like, Give me your paw. And I'm like, Do, the, do spiders' feet count as paws? And I realized it's probably a stupid sentence, so I was gonna just keep it to myself. <laughs> Cause I was like, what what like what does your foot have to look like to constitute as being a paw? Have some sort of phalanges, claws, and toe beans. So maybe really? Yeah. Like I like I was I was gonna I was basically gonna ask like, what's the definition of like what is a foot versus like a paw? I predict in the future Janice will get attacked by bullet ants. You're probably right. Can you not? Look at shot. I out like of him. I want to keep him. <laughs> Bullet ants wouldn't kill me. It'd just be a very Cease. major inconvenience. All right. So we'll save. Uh, should we save Norman for next episode? Yeah, I'm tired. All right. We'll save Norman for next episode. Um, thank you for the raids. Uh, let me let me scroll back down so I can try to start a new LP. Yeah, he started Xenoblade, didn't he? Yeah, Xenoblade Two. Oh my God, the first episode is an hour and sixteen minutes. Oh, this poor man. Um, I have Xenoblade too. I need to get into it. Anyway, mm. um, let me scroll down and find everybody. Thank you to Fat Ass Pikachu. Thank you for one, two, three. Thank you, Fat Ass Pikachu, for follow. B Gamer for follow. Ain't no making time for that for follow. Venonator, and you did it, man, for the raids. Fucking appreciate you guys. Thank you to Pikachu ninety eight twenty one for the follow. And I think that was it. Yep. Yep. Um, you know what? Let's get a fucking. Let's keep the raid trade going. Let me. Let me go on Twitch. Let me see if there's anyone doing fucking Emerald or something. Y'all are great things. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And let me let me just fucking... Let's keep this raid train going. Why not? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Um... Let me grab my headphones so I can make sure these people are speaking English before I send you guys anywhere. Keep an eye on chat, okay. would you? Guys, I mean guys. No, oh, well, we thank you, my friend. Yeah. Let me see here. Boop. Let me see. Hmm. What? So it looks like this dude is learning how to speed run Emerald. That could be fun. 
Let's hop in. Let's raid this dude. Why not? All right. Uh, we're gonna randomize right now for Pearl. Decent, decent. We're gonna raid this dude because he's uh oh, no results found. Do you just stop? Um, like if for some reason Twitch is not letting me. Here we go. There you go. There we go. All right, let's go raid this dude. This dude's learning how to speed run Emerald. Yeah. That'd be cool. Uh, but thank you everybody for coming by. Thank you for sticking with us for yet another episode of Pokemon. And we will see you hopefully tomorrow. Y'all have a good night mm. and take care everybody.